Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me. I have a Christmas theme Happy Mail ID. If you are wanting to create a Christmas theme Happy Mail, and it's a great little project, really easy to um, put together. And I've called it an easy fold envelope style pocket. And I did get this idea from my uh, last, a uh, recent video where I shared with you these really fun uh, easy pockets using your journaling or project life cards and they were just uh, really easy to put together and just so much fun to make and you could um, add tags or um, add some um, happy mail packaging in here you could also add a couple of holes and then use these as a pocket for your planners or organizers and then you can add a pocket inside or you could also uh, add these to a page to create a pocket insert and they're just so fun and I'm going to put the link down below for you if you want to have a look at these um, projects and how you can make these with your 4x6 or 3x4 journaling cards so I did get the uh, idea from these pockets and then I wanted to change it up to create a closure uh, and make it into like an envelope style pocket so that your goodies uh, won't come out and so this is how it looked like and so happy the way it turned out and then I also added a side tuck pocket here on the side as well so you can add some more uh, bits and pieces to the side there like ephemeras or small package goodies uh, tags a little, a little message or a little quote card so this is a great little tuck spot in here whereas these ones that I've made uh, just has a single pocket but I'm going to show you how easy it is to make these uh, if you're interested in making one um, but you don't have to make it in a Christmas theme you could make it for any occasion that you like and so let me show you what I've uh, got inside to give you some idea if, if you want to know what to add inside your Happy Mail uh, pocket um, I did add a uh, some twine here to close the uh, flap and then added a label to the center and this paper here uh, that I'm using if you're wanting to know let me just show you the papers uh, before I show you the inside I did use uh, these paper collection from Kaiser Craft it's their current Christmas collection it's called a Christmas tale collection and it's their lovely papers and um, they're double-sided uh, with double-sided prints so these are just a couple of the ones that I've used in this project, as well as uh, their cut aparts from their tour by tour paper, which I've already cut up already. So they're just lovely earthy tone colors and just um, really lovely to work with. And that's the back. I also use the coordinating die cuts as well for embellishing the pockets of the pocket for this project so i just thought i'd share that with you and i'll put the link to uh, the kaiser craft uh, store if you're interested it is an australian craft company that also sell uh, gift ideas as well but it's just really pretty and i added a dangle on the side here as well just to give it more um more decoration and just a little fun piece so if you don't have any crafting uh, sorry beading tools to make your dangles or jewelry supplies you can make these dangles just using some twine and then you can add your little charms and little tags and cut aparts onto there if you also want to see me do a tutorial on how you can make these you can leave a comment down below and um, I'll try and uh, get a tutorial for you so you can make these cute dangles as well to add to your projects but um, let me go ahead and show you the rest of the pocket um, I also added some embellishing here just to pop the uh, color out uh, as well and added some gold color there and these are the cut parts uh, from the collection I added a cute little tiny bell on this side of the tag you can see I've got heaps of bells on this pocket there's one here and I've got a little one here as well so that was just a cute way to decorate the front and then this just slides up like this and if you don't have these labels, you can just cut um, cut out a little rectangle or punch out a couple of little holes on the end. And then all I've done was thread the string through and then at the back and then come back out to the front this way. And then um, I tied it up. So that just slides up like that and then opens up like this. 
and so this is how it looks like and I've got here this on the side some cut aparts from a different collection from Kaiser Craft as well it's their older Christmas paper collection and I just cut these up and punched out the corners to create like a little ticket coupon so that's just another cute way to add them into the side here so they just go in there like that and then I've got inside here these are the goodies that I've got in so let me start with this one this is again uh, one of the cutter parts I just folded the top down to create a little flap and you can add um, a package goodies on here too and add some washi tape and then you've got a little place to keep your package goodies onto a backing and then it was a, a great idea too because what you can do is this little flap can just slide at the back of the tuck spot and that will just keep that closed so that worked out well for that part and then on this side here i've got a acetate tag with some gold dots again i just dangled a little bell and using some twine to create the dangle and some trim so that was cute and that just looked really nice here on the front here I've also placed a little uh, pocket booklet with some more uh, fun stuff inside and that's your side pocket and I will do a tutorial after this video and show you how you can make these really cute little pocket booklets as well in under five minutes and I'll show you how to make it with a side pocket as well if you wanted to make it with a bottom pocket as well so I'll have a tutorial on how to make these in my next video um, really easy I've also got um, a little stationery set with a library pocket and an envelope and I wrapped that with some twine so you can it's another great little gift so there's a little pocket there for them that they can use for their goodies as well as an envelope and I will do a I will also show you how to make this envelope with this measurement as well in this video in case you wanted to add an envelope with your pocket and finally I've got uh, some washi sample uh, on an acetate tag that I've made I did have these acetate tags in my shop and I may add some more to my shop as well if you wanted to um, purchase the tags and these are great because you could reuse these tags if you have washi samples and is a great way to uh, also gift to somebody and this is how the pocket looks like when there's nothing inside and you can see it's got a nice nice space in there to add heaps of stuff and this is that side type pocket and I like the way that it has that little gap opening here so that your you know your little goodies can still peek through like that so it's just a really cute project so let me show you how you can make this uh, fun project and I'll also show you how to make the envelope just put these back quickly so what you're going to need you're going to need a piece of paper I did use double-sided paper because um, that way you can see both the patterns as well but if you have single-sided paper that's still fine as well to use and I'm going to use a single-sided paper for this video anyway so that way you can see it's still okay to use so what you're going to need you're going to need uh, some paper at four inches by 12 inches and you'll also want another piece for your closure at uh, I think this was uh, two and a half inches and with the length I did cut it to six inches at the moment because when we make the fold because we're not measuring the fold um, we're not sure how wide your pockets going to be so I did allow extra length for the uh, closure and then we can trim that down later so I did cut it two and a half inches by six inches and that should be enough and so we're going to start folding actually what we might do I think we'll do the envelope first before we do the pocket that way we have the envelope ready in case you want to make the envelope to add inside so let's make the envelope first and um, you want your envelope uh, you want your paper cut at four and three quarter of an inch by seven inches and I'll put the measurements down below for the envelope as well uh, for you so what we're going to do on the four and three quarter inch uh, mark we're going to line that on the four and 
three quarters. You're going to score at a quarter of an inch on each uh, side. So a quarter of an inch on one side and a quarter of an inch on the other side. And then we're going to turn it around on the seven inch side and you're going to score at two and three quarters of an inch and five and seven eighth of an inch, which is a little mark just before the six inch mark. So we've got that all scored. And then we're just going to make a couple of cuts, which I don't have my scissors at one moment. I have my scissors on my other desk. So what we're going to do now, uh, we're going to remove uh, these. Let me just see, I've just forgotten which way we're removing. So we're going to remove uh, these two pieces out. I'm going to turn it upside down now. So I'm going to go along the... Oops. We're going to go and cut along this shorter part. So I'm just going to remove that little piece of uh, paper out up to that score line. And then I'm going to end up cut up that corner. Just keep working my way around. And then again, removing this side as well, same as this side. So that is how you want your uh, paper to look like. And then you can punch a uh, thumb notch here if you like to create a little thumb notch. Let me grab my punch. So I'm just going to do that now. So just along the middle up here, just do that quickly. And I'll corner around these two corners. And that was... That would be the closure of the envelope. I'll fold these two flaps in. And then I'll glue these uh, sides down. Which I'm going to fold this up first. I'm going to fold mine. You've got all that so I'm just going to now glue these two sides I'll bring that up and then that will create my envelope for the pocket for the envelope so there's your envelope and then up here just fold down the score line and that will give you the closure so there is uh, your envelope all done. So I've got that to add to the pocket. So now we'll go ahead and we'll create the easy fold pocket. So what we're going to do, if you're having double-sided paper, just decide where you want, um, what you want showing. So in my case, um, I'm going to have this part, uh, I'm going to have this part showing. So I'm going to have this facing down and single-sided. On this right side, you're going to bring this over about uh, an inch over you can use your uh, scoreboard if you like i'm just going to fold that over about that much and then this side here you're going to bring this side over and you just want this edge to be about half line it about halfway from the uh, width so i'm just going to line it about there which is halfway and i'm just going to now press this down And then this part here, you're going to bring this back and you want to just bring it back, leaving about a three quarter of an inch um, opening or however wide you like your opening to be. And that will also determine how deep your pocket will be. But that's how far I've got mine. So you can play around with how far you want your opening. So that is uh, my pocket just about done. And what we're going to do now, we're going to uh, glue down this bottom part. 
and then we'll seal that off. We'll open this part up and we're going to glue this side down. And then we'll open this side and we'll glue this side down as well. So once that's all nice and sealed, that's how it will look. And then what we're going to do now, we're going to create the closure. And I've got here the piece of paper that I had cut it to and a half inches. You want to on um, you want to fold one side over, uh, just leaving a little bit um, away, so maybe three quarters in, about that much. And then this part here, which is the shorter part, that's going to go at the back of your pocket. So as you can see, it's a little bit longer. So then we can trim that off later uh, once we've, um, we're happy with where you want your closure. So I'm going to place, I'm going to glue that down like that. And I'm going to leave about half an inch um, the fold line to the edge of the pocket. So that way, when you open it, there is room for your for you to be able to grab take out your goodies so you could just decide how far how high you want your uh, closure to be and also just remember with your pocket uh, with your envelope that you may have also made just when you place your um, envelope in there you want to make sure that your envelope will be enough for you to be able to close it over so that your envelope can fit in there nicely as well so you could also just line the fold with the edge of the envelope so let's just do that so it gives me room so i'm going to put mine about there and then you can also decide if that's too deep you can trim that down which i think i might trim mine down a bit it's just a little bit too long for a envelope closure for, for me so i'm just going to trim it down just a little bit okay so i'm going to place some glue now to the uh, shorter end and i'm just gonna line it on one edge and also just allowing a little bit of room for the envelope and also if you have um anything that's going to be a little bit higher so i'm happy with that okay and now what i'm going to do i'm going to do my best to try and give it a nice straight cut because that's where we're going to create the closure i'll take this out now then i'm just going to corner around these corners which I also forgot to do. I did corner around these corners here um, for this part, which I might do that as well. And again, you don't have to do that. It just looks neater. So there we have your envelope uh, with your closure for your pocket. Now this part here, you're going to want to add something in the front here, so that way it's just it's not such a large opening and I just embellished this little part here with some of the little bits and pieces which you could also do I normally start off with a little strip and cut it into like a little banner and then I just place it on the bottom of the base and that just gives me a, a nice secure spot so that the pocket will um, won't be uh, won't have such a large opening so I'm going to glue this down and I'm just going to glue the sides here and the bottom here, just along the bottom. Just a bit on the side there. And you can just leave it like this if you like and that's pretty much ready to go. But I've added um, a couple of more pieces. So I've got some double uh, sided foam tape I'm going to place that on the top there as you can see you can make it into a flat mail so you don't want to add dimensional embellishments so let's place that there that also now give me gives me more support in the opening and I've also fussy cut this cute little Christmas tree
So that's pretty much ready now for me. And then I can add some goodies in this tuck spot. I could still add some more embellishing here if you have a single sided paper. You can also add some more paper along here or some washi tape if you don't want the white part showing. And that is all there was to creating this cute little pocket. Easy fold envelope style pocket and then you've got your envelope ready to fit in there like that. And then you can close it up and it's ready to go. You can have it on this side too actually. You can see that oops, that it is now um, you've got that sort of cover there. So that's another great idea to do that. So I hope you enjoy this really fun, easy fold envelope style pocket. Uh, just using a couple of pieces of papers to create a um, happy mail ID and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.